All right, we're in the car, headed to Cuba. I've been prepping for this trip for like weeks. I'm excited. It's gonna be a historically informative trip and I have the vintage outfits to go along with it. Okay guys, so I did this thing. I put together all of my outfits before the trip. I took like one article of clothing and then styled it two ways. So like in this case, this was a leopard skirt. I styled it kind of like more casually with loafers and a hat and I could wear daytime and then this is like more of like an evening look, et cetera, et cetera, guys. All right, we're sitting in traffic at LAX. Ugh, major ugh. the hotel in Miami we are spending one night here because apparently there's not that many shuttle planes to Cuba and the one that we're on is tomorrow morning all right Bob is giving us the debriefing he said that the flight's gonna leave at 1 p.m. maybe Joey's not paying attention you're not exempt from the rules. Yes, yeah. Want six months? Yeah. No smiling. Oh. So There's no smiling allowed in Cuba. <laughs> not when they take your photograph at the airport. Okay. This is serious. I feel like we're going on like a covert CIA op. All right, we just got back up from the orientation and there's so many things to think about. We have visas, we have warnings to not speak Spanish while at the airport because they'll think you're up to no good and blah, 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 blah. What else? Don't touch your face because you're going to get sick. Yeah, it's just a different type of trip. It is a different type of trip. And all I want to do is explore and learn about the culture and eat good food and drink rum. You want to see the stupidest thing you've ever seen in your entire life? It's so small, you guys. I can't show you perspective. Here's my hand and I am not a large person. Good morning, guys. All right, so we just went to the gym, hence my appearance. It is the morning that we are going to Cuba, so we gotta hurry, get ready. We have to get to the airport early because of all of our paperwork and everything. It's like a whole process to get into Cuba. I'm about to shower and put on some bug spray because I don't want to get chichi cocky or um, Zika. Did you get any sunglasses? Yep. Are they girls' sunglasses? <laughs> We're about to get on the plane to go to Cuba. We've done all our paperwork. We bought all of our Pepto Bismol tabs that I'm going to take prophylactically so that I don't get traveler's diarrhea. Let's go. Mm. Hey, Joey. Hi. Watch out for that plane, Kate. Now we just checked in and here are two creepy empty tiny rocking chairs that may or may not give me nightmares this evening this hotel is really an example of what is sort of going on obviously all over Cuba you know after they became a communist socialist country in 1959 I think don't quote me on that a lot of countries including the US stopped shipping them anything. So the decor, the architecture are all from the 50s. Okay, first day in Cuba, I am standing in front of Hotel Nacional, a historical hotel here in Cuba. I think it's the oldest hotel. Today we are going out to investigate. We're part of this group that 
was organized by Joey's dad. He has a company called Travel to Remember, a travel company. And Joey's mom's here too. We're just here to have a person-to-person -person cultural exchange. We're meeting a lot of artists. And I'm really excited to experience the culture today. And yeah, let's go. Buccaneers. 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 Buccaneers are what you wear. <laughs> Maybe they also had to protect against them. I don't know. <laughs> We're at Hemingway's house and at the base of the house they've built this baseball field for the local kids to entertain them and also get them to stop taking the fruit off the trees. How dirty I am. Joey just played basketball, or not basketball, <laughs> but he played baseball with the kids in Cuba. And he got around the bases. He wasn't a home run, but he did good. He's really dirty though. Let's just see Ernest Hemingway in his natural habitat. Was he exiled? I don't know. He well, he sounded well. like he was a little cray cray. Although I guess he wrote like naked and outside. also so killed himself. So, so maybe that's true. Yeah, that's even so though he lives in a beautiful house. house like, wasn't too happy of a camper. Alright, we are at a house that is covered entirely in tile. Entirely in tile. <laughs> Today we are in Old Havana, where the city started. So there's some really old buildings here, a lot older than me. And we're gonna investigate and then do other stuff. But right now we're gonna go walk around this beautiful city. I love you. to a dance academy to see some local Cuban dancers. Let's go. Ooh, let's go. about to go to this community center that was built by the locals and it's an art exchange thing and we're going to meet the artists and musicians. And yeah, I'm excited. The guy that I was just dancing with upstairs. This is his statue in honor of his dance moves. Pretty accurate. We're in one of the little scooter cabs in Havana and we're headed to El Capitolo because why not? Oh my god. <laughs>
are we doing right now? We're eating, or we ate lunch. Are you drunk? A little bit. <laughs> called officially Bara Dero. It's a beautiful white sand, aqua blue water beach. Americans obviously haven't been able to come here for a while. We're pretty lucky to be here enjoying this awesome place. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. It is our last day in Cuba. It really flew by. Like this trip was such a, an eye-opening experience. I learned so much about a country that I really didn't know much about. It was totally not what I expected it to be. It was such like an infamous country to us Americans. Like socialist and Fidel Castro and blah, blah, blah. And of course, while I was here, I didn't meet Fidel Castro. I hung out with the Cuban people who are all awesome and they were all really open and honest with us about like the struggle that is Cuba, that life is difficult here and they're excited for change and I'm excited for them. So thank you for coming along on our travel journey. Journey, journey. I'm still trying to speak Spanish in my head. It is time to go, is Joey saying. It's time to go. We gotta go get on a plane. And then a plane. Say goodbye to this beautiful beach, the beautiful people, and get back to the kitties and our home. Viva Cuba. Viva Cuba. Adios. Mr. Kate! There was a bar fight. No, no, no. I didn't. Back up. Joey!